Greetings, I'm Mitch Densley with the Palo Alto Network's Education Delivery Department, here to talk to you today about Global Protect for Linux. We're going to talk about how to install Global Protect on a Linux system, and then how to connect it and see statistics about that connection within a Palo Alto Network's firewall. There's a couple things to know about Global Protect on a Linux system. The interaction may not be identical to what you're used to from a Windows or a Mac OS system. For example, Global Protect can only be installed and configured using the CLI. Also, with regard to HIP, the firewall can only collect some host state data. There is no transparent upgrade option, it is manual only. And the connection methods are user logon and on demand. There is no pre logon option. As far as the prerequisites for installing the client, you can see them here on the screen. Essentially a 64 bit processor, decent bit of RAM, decent bit of memory, and the three supported operating systems and package types you can see there. There is a help command that shows you all of the different options to use within the Global Protect CLI. Let's look at the connection process. Essentially, you tell it you want to connect dash p for portal, whatever that portal name is, dash u, then your username. If you have a self-signed certificate or the client doesn't trust the certificate, you'll see a warning such as this. Then it'll ask you if you want to continue, and then it'll ask you for the password associated with the username you provided earlier. And then once it's connected, it'll tell you the connection type internal or external. And then again, the show command shows you all the different options. When it comes to the next generation firewall, relevant Global Protect logs will be stored in the system log. And you can see some examples here for the Linux system. Let's look at a demo of the installation and connection process. First thing you need to do is download the client from the support portal and drop it on the system that you're going to install it onto. Then decompress the file. You'll see that there's a deb file, RPM, and just a tarball. Use the appropriate installation command to install the appropriate file for the system you're installing it onto. After it's installed, you need to reboot the system. After the reboot is complete, you invoke the shell by typing global protect. Help will show you all of the relevant commands within the global protect shell. And as we said earlier, you connect it by typing connect dash p, the domain you want to connect to dash u, and the username. You'll notice that you're connected when it says connected. The show details command will show you if you're connected to the gateway or not. Show statistics will show you some traffic information relevant to your VPN connection. Show host state will show you the HIP information that can be collected by the client and passed back to the gateway. And then if you wonder which version of the Global Protect agent has been installed, there's show dash dash version. And if you want to see the welcome page and you're within X windows or a graphical environment, you can do show dash dash welcome page and then it'll launch a browser and show you that welcome page. Depending on the agent settings defined within the portal, you could then disconnect or you might need to disable to terminate the VPN connection. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.